Hey guys, remember this is supposed to be a choose your own adventure. If you guys haven't been following me on Heave Starkema on Facebook, I put up, did you guys want to see 30 of Mama Bear Vinyl's 45 she dropped off? 30 of the full records she wanted to drop off? Or 30 of more of the rescue ones that I went on the road trip to get? I got one vote from for Andy to go with the biggins of the Mama Bear vinyl. I got one vote from Bill at the Vinyl Verse who wanted to see the white label promos of the 45s. And then I got one vote from Tim which wanted to see the rescue ones. So I got a vote one to one to one. What do I do in a tiebreaker? I just do what the hell I want and you none of you win. That's the way it is in democracy and voting in elections, isn't it? No matter how you vote, nobody wins. So what we're going to do today is I have two votes that I got on private messages and on YouTube videos in that same time frame of people that wanted to know more about my Rescue 45s and how I fix them, how I clean them, and how I prepare them and get them back to as new as you can get. So that's what I'm going to do today. A little tutorial. If you've been a watcher of mine for years, you know kind of the system. But I'm going to show it to you guys one more time because it's kind of neat. And this is what I do every day. Um, so, first off, what am I going to do? One of the ones that she dropped off to me was Cotton Candy by Al Hurt. And I don't know if you guys can catch it on there, but this whole side of side B is gray. With just dust or mold. It's literally coming off on my fingers. So, this is the one we're going to restore and clean and get going like it's brand new again. And we can give it a little test spin. So, let's go ahead and first off, let's go take a look at Discogs and put them in there. All right. Got my Discogs up and I'll even go full screen so you can see. I might even blow up all this to make it easier to see. All right. L Hurt. Now, I do know that he has an album that I have called Cotton Candy, so that's probably going to come up. But, sure enough, there is the 7-inch version here. Cotton Candy, 478346. That is it. I'm going to add that to my collection, put it in my 7-inch single folder. And it looks like this is the artwork we're going to be working on with. First step is getting this thing arted up, so let's go ahead and save this image. I don't like it. It's not in good enough condition for me. So what are we going to do next? I am going to go over here, open it up using paint, Boop, boop, and let's make her big. Hopefully you can see that. What you'll notice here is like there's these wrinkles. I'm going to go to select, and I'm just going to get rid of that whole section with the wrinkles. Delete. Use the eyedropper. Match color. Fill. Shazam! Looks like new. All right, we're going to do that all around this thing and just kind of get rid of all these paper wrinkles that are on here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We got some coming up the side here. Don't like that. Get rid of some of this. Again, eyedropper, color match. Fill. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking business. There's a little wrinkle on this side, so let's just get that going. And also, if you notice here, it, there's a little bit of white on the bottom here. I don't want that. I want the color to go all the way to the edge, so I'll get rid of that. Dropper. Color match. Fill. Yeah, that whole thing can be redone that way. It's nice and even. Because when it prints up, as you know, it's not going to be exactly the same. Printers have a resolution thing, so it can fudge a few things. Bam. All right. And then we're going to go same thing on the bottom here. There's a nice little white line, yellow line. Let's yep, all the way over here. Delete. All the way up to there. Delete color match fill and you know what this is one of them we're lucky this has got nice geometric angles screw this whole noise let's just do the whole thing nice and bright like that yeah I like it when they're nice and uh, easy like this to make it look like brand new we're just gonna resurface the whole thing like re repaint a car 
All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Might as well. Taking a little more time, but I think the end product will look better. And I noticed there's a, since we're doing that, I changed my mind halfway through. I'm entitled to. We're going to do a little more, actually. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, that, that looks just wonderful, Steve. Look what you just did there. That's all right. Uh, we'll just delete that, and then we'll just make that green. Boop. All right. Now all I got to do is go down the side on here because there's a little strip of not green going down the side here. Then we'll fill also. Boom. Yeah, you know what? That looks pretty dang good if you do ask myself. I'm going to do this little area here. I noticed a little slight color variation. And that will be it. So now... Once I get this matched up, we're going to hit save. Then I'm going to go over to my Word document while I'm actually using open text. I'm going to insert that into the document. And I know for a fact that this being six or 7.4 inches by 7.4 inches, is going to exactly fill my little uh, outer sleeve thing. So if we notice up here, I'm going to make sure that this is 7.4 by 7.4. Do, 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 do. Come on, a little bit. Perfect. And a little bit up on this one. All right. And... Let's see here. Almost there. Nope, that's a little too much. It's it's teeny. Well, you know what I could do? Yeah, all you, all you smart people out there could be like, Hey, Steve, can't you just type in 7.4 and 7.4, then you don't have to think about it? Yeah, I could, but sometimes I like to doodle around with crap. All right. Perfect. So now... I'm going to go behind you, Bree. Just hold on. And uh, I got to get a piece of paper down here and put it in the printer here. All right. All right. Here we go. I got the piece of carrot. We got the paper in the printer and I will print it out. And I'm using thick card stock paper. Hopefully it'll go through. There it goes. It's being pokey. While that's getting printed up, excuse me, baby girl. Grab one of the clear sleeves. Voila. Cut it out. Yes, I've probably got, I think I got about 300 of these I've done exactly like this and probably another now total 400 more to go. But on this one, I'm just going to do the front because I didn't see a back. But there are some like you might know that have a front and back art. Like, uh, and so I would actually do two of these. And the 7.4 by 7.4. Fit it into here. And voila, the art is done. I could do a back one, and then the disc would slide in between, whatever. <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and get this clean. Back to new. Let's repair this thing. Bring it back to life. Bring me back to life. All right, I'm here at my station and I've got my magical suction cups. These things are a dollar at the dollar store. I've got three of them, so I can do three of these at a time if I want to. If you want to back up a little bit so we can get the whole thing in there. If you'll notice, it completely covers the label, keeping it safe. 
goes right into the dead wax. All right, then I'm gonna spray it with what? Scrubbing bubbles. Actually, this is a dollar store scrubbing bubbles. Used it for years, this has been awesome. Now, I've had a lot of people use scrubbing bubbles say they didn't really notice much of a difference. The key thing, let them do the work. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and we're gonna come back here in 10 minutes after the bubbles have subsided. And then we're gonna to go to the next step. So seriously, literally, let it set. This has got years and years and years of grime and funk that have been on there and it will soak down there and eat through it. If you have dried up food on the counter and you spray the cleaner on it and just wipe it away, it's not gonna help. But you let it sit there for 10 minutes, it all goes away. And all the bad's gonna go away here. So go ahead and pause it and I'll be right back. All right, the bubbles are almost gone. So then I'm going to take my painter thing, you know, you think you edge the corner of the painting with, super soft, nice and spongy, so it'll conform to all the little curves when you press down on it and not cause any damage. And I'm gonna actually press down pretty hard and I'm actually gonna spin it with, against the grains, literally. Um, because they're, we're gonna go in all directions here. I'm not going to play around, but sometimes you gotta go, that's gonna be the roughest one because it's kind of against what normal thing, like, hey, you gotta go with the grains and with the grooves, and uh, I don't. Um, there's a reason for that, because we want to get all the stuff off there. That's step one. Step two, then, I will go with the grains, pressing down firmly, too. I'm not being light and ginger about this. I want to get those little fibers and fingers down into those grooves and get them going. I'm pressing down kind of hard, like I said. I'm not being ginger with it. And then the final swipe, I take it, and I actually spin it all in one direction to pick up all the soap and detritus that we had picked up. All right. Put my handle on, and we come over to the sink here. I'm putting it on full hot blast. You're like, oh my God, Steve. It's hot, you're gonna melt the vinyl. First of all, it doesn't come out hot to start with. It comes out cold. I can get most of it off there. But I do want it hot because there are grease and other things that heat needs to take off. And a matter of fact, I'm actually going to rinse it off with the hot water until it actually starts to warp a little bit. Literally. Once I start to see it warp a little, then I stop like, but you warped it! Vinyl has a little bit of a memory on it. I have learned many a times. I've had records that were actually warped. I ran them under the hot water for a while and then put them back and the warp went away. Vinyl has a memory. And just now, if you want to look, it's not warped anymore. It just happened to just got hot and just warped. It's different than sitting in somewhere and being warped for a long time where it then retains a memory. Taking the, these off. Going over to my chamois. I'm gonna press it flat and rub. I don't want to put all you know fibers back into the grooves. I'm just absorbing the last of it. Now, one thing that I used to do is I used to take distilled water and do a final rinse with distilled water. You may need to do that. If you guys do research and look, Maine actually has some of the cleanest, best water in all of the nation, and. Uh, I didn't see any difference whatsoever using the distilled water. But if you have hard water, rusty water, things like that, when it dries, you may have particles left behind. But I don't here. Maine's got awesome water. Then to dry it, I don't let it sit out and dry. This is it. Ten swipes. And it's going to be dry and as good as new. Let's go ahead and give it a spin. and see what she sounds like. This is pretty scratched, pretty beat up. A little, little grind knife. I say it wins. Yeah, just at the beginning there's a little crackle ground noise, but the rest of it, like it was just pressed from the factory. You hear anything? Other than good music, I don't. 
Awesome. So, success has been made. She has, there's no repair repairs needing to be done. I don't have to repair the label. It looks like it's in good shape. So then I bring it over here, pop it in here, and voila, we have rescued this Al Hurt. It's in my collection. It's been cleaned. It plays awesome. Got a new cover. Now I just want to, well, then I put him away, but I'm not going to because I want to listen to it. Thank you guys for dealing along with me. Short little video, no editing, just going to put it straight up and uh, go to Heave Starkema, H-E-A-V-E space S-T-A-R-K-E-M-A on Facebook. Look for my post and vote. And who I, again, if I can find a winner, we're going to decide whether we're going to go through 30 of these records that she brought, Cindy brought, 30 of the 45s that she brought, or... 30 of the Rescue 45s that I went and got. You get to vote. Go online, go to Facebook, and do that. And uh, that's it. Take care. All Vinyl Lives Matter.